guys, it's me, it's Queen Oset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Now, if you guys remember correctly, I told you a long time ago that every sign has a gift that they give to the world. Every sign also has a plight. Something that they have to deal with. <laughs> and it can be kind of problematic. Libras have to deal with being indecisive. I know very few Libras who are decisive. Uh, Taurus have to deal with being stubborn. I know very few Taurus who aren't at least a little bit stubborn. For Aquarius, our plight is hidden enemies. Aquarius is a sign about friendship. It's a sign about cooperation, about humanitarian efforts. It's a sign about dealing with others because of those things. Now, we all know that we deal with others a lot, and we also retreat from others as need be. But one thing that you may not know is a lot of times Aquarius have hidden enemies. And I want you guys to be aware of this, and I want you to be careful of this, because some of these enemies are in your circle. A lot of times, the enemies are masquerading as friends. They're masquerading as your best friend. They're masquerading as somebody who you can confide in. That's why they call them hidden enemies, because they don't really reveal themselves. Sometimes somebody else might know that they're not, you know, they're one of your enemies. And other times they might not. Some of the times they may be a friend of me, somebody who you, you kind of friendly with, but y'all banter or have an uneasy kind of tension between of you. These kinds of people sometimes are truly enemies and you just don't know it. So as an Aquarius, you must be very careful of this. I said to you guys before, Aquarius have a lot of jealousy issues. And most of the issues are with people being jealous of us. Aquarius are ahead of our time. We're always very creative. I've had several different people, several different women in my lifetime who tried to be me, <laughs> literally, like tried to like be, do everything I do, do their hair like mine, you know, and it's really creepy. Any of you who remember that movie, Single White Female, and another one came out after it called The Roommate, same concept. There's a woman, another woman becomes obsessed with her and tries to be her. Cuts her hair like her, tries to steal her boyfriend, you know, starts to do things she likes to do, the way she does them. Like, I've had people do this, <laughs> literally, and I'm looking at them like Twilight Zone, you know? Those are some of those hidden enemies. Those are people who literally want to be you. And they will put you down, they will badmouth you behind your back. They'll do all kind of things because they're jealous of you. Aquarius deal with a lot of that kind of jealous energy. We deal with a lot of people who want to be us, who are jealous of us, who are mad because we're being and doing us. And they get pissed about that. And some of them take it as far as to try to actually, like, you know, impersonate you. And someone once said that impersonation was a form of flattery. That shit not flattering when it happens to you. Trust me and believe me. It is not flattering. When you walk into a room and somebody has on the same outfit or has cut their hair exactly like yours, that shit's not flattering at all. <laughs> I was not flattered in the lace bed, okay? So I want Aquarius to pay attention to that. And, and those of you who love an Aquarius, pay attention to that. Because some of the times the people who are closest to the Aquarius are not really their friends. Um, Aquarius are very intuitive. But when we have a soft spot for someone, we do sometimes let them get away with shit that we wouldn't let nobody else get away with. So you have to be very careful. On more than one occasion, somebody I thought was my friend turned out to be exactly the opposite. On more than one occasion, I mean, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking more than five, more than six, more than seven occasions, somebody who I thought was a friend turned out to be somebody who was basically a hater. You know, some people don't come around you. They don't call you. They don't text you. They don't catch up with you. They don't check in with you just to see how you're doing. 
just to, you know, check and see how you are. Some people do that to have something to say, you know? So here you are talking to your friend, and they're going around twisting your words, lying on you. I've had so many things like that happen to me, and I mean ever since I was a little girl. And it's in our chart. Some of us have it in our houses. Like I've seen it in certain people's house. And I'm like, ooh, there's a problem here. There's some, some secret motives going on here. But also when you look at Aquarius, that jealousy is very common with us. And so you do see those frenemies, those hidden enemies. Some of the times there are people who are related to us. So Aquarius... One of the things you have to do is you have to use your intuition. You have to watch your back. You have to use your intuition. And when you know someone and they do something that's shady, don't keep giving them the benefit of the doubt. Because what happens is if you keep giving them the benefit of the doubt after you already know what's going on, you just leave yourself out to be further victimized. And then when you finally decide that you want to do something about it, they have a lot of ammunition against you. So you want to be very, very careful. A person who's your friend is in a great position to really put your business in the street. Not to say that you're out doing anything crazy, but they could just take something innocent and twist it around, you know? And you know something... I'm talking about it from an intellectual standpoint. I'm telling you guys from a warning standpoint to be careful. But from an emotional standpoint, that shit is painful. It is really painful. Last night, I was laying in bed thinking about it. And I was like, it, it hurt every single time. And not to say that, you know, Aquarius is this, you know, innocent little victim sitting in a corner. But most of the time when this happens, we didn't do nothing. And that's really the messed up part about it. It's usually somebody we tried to help. Somebody we looked out for. You know, it's always somebody, not always, but most of the time, it's somebody you tried to help. And that's the painful part. Every time I've been betrayed, it's been by somebody who I looked out for. Somebody who I could have let drown. <laughs> and I drugged them to the shore. And first chance they got, they stabbed me in the heart. You know, and I realized last night that because of the fact that I'm always so strong, I never let myself admit how painful that has been, how hurtful it has been to be betrayed by people who really should have had my back. It's one of the reasons why I'm a loner now. I can't betray myself. <laughs> well, you could actually. Self-sabotage is real, but... That's the only thing I could possibly do. I could betray myself and that's it. But it's so often that you find it's somebody that you care about and that you love is jealous of you. It's awful. It's really awful. So Aquarius, be really careful of hidden enemies. Sometimes they're bosses, managers, coworkers, higher ups, family members, neighbors, you know, really I, every person, <laughs> and really, you know, let your third eye, I, every person, before you let them into your camp. Because what you're going to find is, is that some of the times you have snakes in your grass. And the only way to deal with a snake in the grass is to cut its head off. If you identify that somebody in your camp is a snake, the only thing you can do is put them out of your camp. Don't ignore it, Aquarius, because it won't go away. It'll only get worse. Okay? All right, guys. Time for me to get going. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody who has frenemies, if you know somebody who has secret enemies, please pass this video on to them and tell them I said, watch your back. Okay? Uh, if you would like to give me a love donation, I will leave my PayPal information. If you would like to get a tarot or an oracle card reading, please inbox me for, email me or inbox me on Facebook for an appointment. If you would like to ask me a free general question, feel free to drop it underneath this video or you can also email it to me. I'm also going to leave my social media, my Facebook and my Instagram, so feel free to hit me up. Okay guys, thanks for listening. See you later.